Hey Creative Birdies, how are you guys doing today? Right here I'm showing you supplies that I'll be using today for our rose bushes or a rose bush. You can pause and see all the supplies. And then I'll show you what inspired me. And you can find many inspirational paintings on Pinterest and that's what I've been doing lately. Okay, so we're probably going to unpack everything and put it on the side. I actually like the way everything looks when it's just cluttered on top of each other. All the colors mixed and all the materials are really gorgeous to me. So, I accidentally um, deleted the footage of the background that I have here that you see on the watercolor paper but it's just a mix there's the inspiration it's just a mixture of um, yellow green and blue so I didn't really know where to start so I just started scribbling now if I were to do this again I don't think that I would directly mark uh, with those crayons you see there. What are they? They're a Vicky Bootin. They're really nice. Um, but yeah, next time I think I would just scrape them into a palette and then water them down and use them. You can totally tell that I, I am really, like I said in my previous videos, that I'm just barely diving into watercolor. Uh, if you hear me a little bit off, my reason I'm a little off is I'm having, um, I don't know if it's chest pain or if it's, uh, what is it called, gas in my chest. I don't have any antacids right now. Uh, but just to be on the safe side, I took a, a baby aspirin. It could be anxiety, could be an anxiety attack, and it's a different form. It could be stress. I don't know. But I'm feeling it. Um, I can't yawn. I can't sneeze because when I try to take a deep breath, it hurts. So I don't know what that's about. I've stretched on a yoga ball. I've stretched on a roller. I've stretched on many things and um, it seems to help at the moment but then when I get up it's the same thing. I got to have a wonderful conversation, um, a FaceTime with Kelly Donovan today and I really enjoyed that. Today is Wednesday uh, the 3rd but by the time you guys see this it will be probably be June 15th or something like that. I don't know what the future holds for myself or for this world. We don't, I don't know. Um, we're living in scary times. Um, but um, if you can find a way to create something that will take your mind off, I hope I am part of that. Uh, inspiration here. I really am just doing um, my best here. I'm hoping that this will go away. Mm, I'm hoping it's just gas. Heartburn. Yeah, that's the other one. I'm hoping it's just heartburn. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of scary. But I've been in the emergency once before with more severe uh, chest pain and they said that it was just a panic attack and that I just needed to take a chill pill and they gave me some kind of chill pill. I don't even know what it was. It just made me feel a little buzzed. I went home, tried to sleep and I still couldn't sleep so I took my sleeping medication and I fell asleep. Um, woke up the same way 
and it took me a few days to get rid of that chest pain actually maybe a few weeks so hopefully hopefully this is not related to my ear I have a really bad um, artery behind my ear that makes me hear my heartbeat and it's, it's 24 hours seven days a week and I'm hoping that that heartbeat it has nothing to do with a clogged artery or an aneurysm or anything like that. I probably should go see a neurologist. As a matter of fact, I did see a neurologist last year and it costed me a lot of money. All for them to really not... They really didn't treat me well. And I know that you guys will say go to a second opinion, but it's just too damn expensive, you guys. We have Aetna as an insurance through my husband's job. And it's really still expensive. Anyways, let's get back to this. So, I'm just wiggling my brush around. I'm using orange and red in my watercolors. And now I'm going to go into the green again, and I'm just going to go on top. Like I mentioned, I'd probably go a lot thinner than the, the twigs, the branches, whatever those are. I would probably go a lot thinner, but I really do love the end result. I don't really understand or know what I'm doing. I'm just doing watercolors water, a brush, and just go. So I'm tr I haven't been able to yawn. I haven't been able to sneeze. I'm going to force myself to cough in a little bit and see how that goes. So just mixing colors around. Um, sometimes I, I, I push down on the brush and sometimes I just use the tip of the brush. I do eventually want to invest in watercolor brushes and some of those Japanese watercolor brushes would be amazing as well. Anyways, this video is not too long. We're at 8 minutes and we have about 3 minutes to go. So... Uh, the inspiration was roses, but these are my kind of roses. Um, they didn't really have to be anything other than just just art, right? Just creating. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, and I just came by to share with you guys. Hopefully inspire you guys. I'm very grateful to you guys. Thanks for allowing me to take a few minutes out of your day. Please share with your friends. It really will help. And hit that thumbs up. That helps as well. It's free and keeps me going. <laughs> your comments really keep me going. I um, think that I'm going to try to upload on a specific day, but I need to figure out what that specific day is. <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet. Well, my channel is growing slowly, but I'm okay with that. It would be nice to grow more, but it is what it is. At least I'm doing what I love. So if you don't know who Kelly Donovan is, she's here on YouTube. Just look her up, Kelly Donovan, and knitting and things. We both talk about reality and life. Nothing fake on our channels. Um, hopefully I can help you through your day. And hopefully I'll bring some inspiration to you guys. Sorry for the low energy, but this 
girl can't yawn. <laughs> they really need a yawn. Or sneeze. Maybe it's just fear. I don't know. I'm adding a little bit of yellow and it really does work really well in here. I think I might mess with it a little bit more off camera in a few days, letting it dry. I really like the blue as well. But um, I'll come back if I mess with it some more. So for now I'm gonna, not going to say bye until I'm positive this watercolor piece of art is finished. So I might see you in a few minutes. But if not, thanks guys. But I'm sure I will come back. Hey to birdies, how are you guys doing? I mentioned to you guys that I might continue doing this off camera and I did. So, the blue leaf that you see here, or you had seen here, became a rosebud because it's it, the leaf was too big. So I made it a rosebud uh, in the down position. This one here also changed, and I think I added more blue behind. You guys can see the difference. I'm still not feeling so good, but I'm still breathing. And I added more to that rosebud up there and more blue. So that's all I really have done. Oh, and I did a little bit of markings here and there and here. I was gonna add um, rose pickers, you know, thorns, rose thorns, but I decided not to. I'm gonna leave it as is. I really, really like it. I think it's really pretty. So, there you go. We're all done. Uh, thanks for being here and oh and I added a little more here. I just want to say thank you and um, I really appreciate all of you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.